Raw meat left on fishing hooks scattered around a local dog park. Now authorities are working to find out who is responsible. One dog was rushed to the vet after eating one of the meatballs. News 6's Lauren Korn has the story. Look, 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 wait, he's my baby, he's my child. For years, Rita Michelini has let her five-year-old mini schnauzer buddy run around Bicentennial Park. He likes to, uh, you know, search for turtles and bark at them. And uh, at one point, I looked back and he had something in his mouth. Michelini says on Tuesday afternoon, Buddy swallowed part of this liverwurst meatball that had half-inch fish hooks stuffed inside. They were half frozen and um, they just scattered around. Michelini found at least five balls of meat near the fence line of the small dog park. I was concerned that Buddy had ingested any of that and would get hooked somewhere inside of him, and I don't know what could happen from there. A small hook like that could get caught anywhere along the digestive tract. Dr. Nick Avis examined Buddy at the Tomoka Pines Veterinary Hospital and says luckily the dog did not swallow any of the hooks. For as small as that hook was, a dog very easily could have swallowed that quickly without even knowing that they had swallowed it, and um, that could have been you know, very detrimental to, to his health. And this isn't the first time someone's tried to harm dogs here at this very same park. Two years ago, one person's dog suffered from kidney failure after they found pieces of meat laced with ibuprofen. Whether it, you know, it's an ibuprofen type situation or it's a fish hook, both of those could actually seriously cause harm or kill your pet. It was a huge relief. I was very, very concerned. Michelini says she'll still bring Buddy to the park, but will now be extra cautious. It would be devastating if something happened to him, and I'm sure it would be to any dog owner. Yeah. In Ormond by the Sea, Lauren Corn, News 6. Just awful. The sheriff's office says the case is closed for now because they do not have any witnesses, but that could change if someone comes forward. The park is considering installing security cameras.